Okay, there it is. This piece has some wild grain in it right here. So it might not be the best choice. However, one cool thing is that this end is fairly bland, so I could miter that there <clears throat> and miter this here and transition it real nicely into this other piece and it would still be fine. So, what I'm going to do now is miter all these pieces and uh, move back out to the saw. Another advantage of this walnut over the cherry, this is an inch and three sixteenths. I've got some room to play with uh, as far as thickness. Um, this is still rough here, but that's not a big deal. I've got three whole sixteenths of an inch that I can work with. <clears throat> Sorry about all the throat clearing and coughing. Uh, one, one thing I didn't mention uh, that is part of the wood shop, besides the sight and the sound, is the smell. And uh, I don't mean that in a bad way. Some woods are very aromatic, and this walnut has a terrific smell. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to describe. Uh, I was going to say like a, like a strong uh, cappuccino or something, but that's not quite it. It doesn't have a coffee smell. It's kind of a um, a spicy smell, and um, that may be something I'm reacting to here with this coughing is that I got some of that dust in my nose and throat, and uh, it's giving me a little trouble. Uh, all, I shouldn't say all, a number of woods have distinctive smells, and actually it's one of the characteristics by which you can identify woods, uh, sassafras in particular. I love the smell of that. Anytime we were working with sassafras up in the other shop, it took about 10 seconds of somebody putting that through the sander, and that smell, or even maybe the planer too, definitely the sander, that smell would go through the shop, and everybody would start looking around, okay, who's, looking, who's working with sassafras today? <clears throat> Incidentally, some of you probably know this, but I'll just give this as an interesting fact. The, the root of sassafras um, was the original thing that they used for root tea or root, root beer. Uh, that's the flavor, sassafras. So that gives you an idea how that smells. The walnut has a nice spicy smell, which I, I love the smell of walnut, too. And cherry also has a distinct kind of a sweet smell. <clears throat> And especially that piece that I used for the panel, uh, when it came off the laser, it smells like burnt cinnamon. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's something we, we can somewhat enjoy. But also, uh, wood dust is uh, known by the state of California to uh, cause nasal cancer, supposedly. Um, so it's, it's listed as a carcinogen. I do control the dust in my shop, or attempt to, with dust collectors, and I also have an air filter that cleans the air, um, kind of scrubs the air. After a certain period of time, it will recycle all the air in the shop, and I can definitely tell when that thing has run, because, uh, I don't know, you can just tell the air is cleaner. It's maybe easier to breathe or something. Uh, I do use dust masks some and uh, definitely whenever I spray finish I use that those are a different kind of fumes but uh, anyway this is kind of running on here and I'm not here to necessarily teach but rather just to edge uh, entertain and and kind of inform so I'll move on here back to the shop